क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends and today we are going to study a new property which is a frequency differential property of Laplace transform. Now in previous videos we have studied a time differentiation property. Now in this we are going to differentiate using a frequency domain or we can differentiate using S domain of Laplace transform. Now let's see what he said. The Laplace transform of t into x of t is nothing but minus d by ds of x of s. This is the simple property. Now, how we are going to prove it? There is a simple idea. You can get the idea how to solve this frequency differentiation property or how you can prove that differentiation property. Now, look at here on the left hand side. What you can see? We have differentiated x of s with respect to s. And this is the clue to solve a differentiation property in frequency domain or you can say a frequency differentiation property of Laplace transform. So same thing I'm going to do. I'm going to differentiate the definition of Laplace transform which is x of s is equals to integration e x of t e to the power minus s t dt and I'm going to differentiate both the sides with respect to s and if we differentiate both the sides with respect to s of course you will get this l into x of t on the right hand side. So let's see how to prove this frequency differentiation property. According to definition of Laplace transform, what do we said? X of s is nothing but Laplace transform of any continuous time signal or any time signal can be solved using integration of that input signal x of t, which is multiplied with e to the power minus st and integrated with respect to time t. Now, as I told you, I am going to differentiate both these sides with respect to s. So, I am going to differentiate both these sides with respect to s. So, d by ds of x of s is equal to d by ds of definition of Laplace transform. Now, on the right hand side, just look at here. Which term will be solved or which term will be differentiated? The term which carries the s, that term or that function will be differentiated. So, look at here. On the right hand side, only e to the power minus st is the term which can be differentiated because the rest of the terms are constant. As these remaining terms or constant terms are present in a product form, that's why we can keep it separately or we can write it separately. But if there a plus or minus sign is there, then the problem will occur because the constant differentiation is always zero. Right now, all these terms are present in a product term or product form. So we can keep this x of a t integration and dt separately and only e to the power minus st will be solved. So let's see what will be the differentiation of e to the power minus st. Now, we know that differentiation of exponential function is e to the power a t. If I want to differentiate a function e to the power a t with respect to time t, then differentiation is always e to the power a t, whereas t is the variable, but a is the constant. That constant term will be multiplied with e to the power minus a t. This is the simple differentiation. So, if that uh, power a having some sign plus or minus then we are going to multiply the same value with their sign with e to the power minus or plus at. So look at here if I want to differentiate this function with respect to s then differentiation of e to the power minus st as I told you I am going to differentiate this whole e to the power minus st with respect to s. So minus t is the constant part and that will be multiplied with function e to the power minus st which is the differentiation of a e to the power minus st with respect to s. Now look at here. I am going to write this t minus t or you can say I am going to multiply this minus t with respect to x of t and I am going to consider this one is as a whole input. If I consider this is my whole input then according to Laplace transform if we apply Laplace on any continuous time signal let's say x of t then it is always multiplied with e to the power minus st. So look at here, if I assume this is my input, so according to Laplace terms, first of all it will be multiplied with e to the power minus st and then it is integrated over the range of minus infinity to infinity. So this will satisfy the definition of Laplace transform. So I am going to consider this is my input. So that is why I have written Laplace transform minus t of xc. I have replaced this whole term by Laplace transform minus t x of t. And this is the proof. The last two lines are remaining. So let's see what were those. Now, already we have almost proved that property. What was that? The d by ds of x of s. 
Laplace transform minus t of x v was there. If I take minus sign common and if I shift this minus sign on left hand side, then what else remaining? Laplace transform t of x t is equals to minus d by ds of x of s. And this is the property and this is the simple way to proof of frequency differentiation property of Laplace transform. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.